Hello, my name is Jenny Yang. Today is May 17th, 2020. On behalf of the Asian American Civic Scholars, I'm interviewing Mr. Shi Hong, the Vice President at the St. Louis Modern Chinese School. Today, we will first cover how the Wuhan campaign has responded to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Then we will look at how that campaign has responded in St. Louis. Finally, we will transition to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the Nanjing Sister Cities Association. Thank you, Mr. Shi, for being here today. Yeah, thank you, uh, you, uh, you Mami, for this like, interview. And I'm like, glad to talking about some of the campaign we did like, in the past uh, several months. Yeah, so majority is like, coming from early this year, like uh, when we heard that like, Wuhan in China, they have like uh, uh, Corona-19 uh, like uh, uh, situations and then like in here like uh, Chinese people is like uh, uh, in the Chinese community uh, do something help to to help them in like uh, uh, in China what have whatever is like the, the healthcare the workers and the, the patients and uh, later like uh, this like uh, uh, pandemic that spread in the United States then we try to do something to help our local peoples so. Yes, uh, we did. Uh, we purchased also purchased. Uh, we purchased uh, some like uh, PPEs from China and uh, to ship it to here and uh, uh, donation uh, donated to the, all that like, uh, local hospitals like uh, senior apartments, something, some mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah. Uh, so, what was your role in the Wuhan campaign? Yeah, um, it's interesting. My role is to change the little bit. At the beginning, well, like uh, we have this like uh, campaigns, and uh, we had a, we had the campaigns, and uh, uh, my first role is that for like a uh, rights as a reporter to write some like uh, reports to the local like uh, newspapers, and uh, later like uh, we changed our like uh, goals in for the campaigns, and the majority is changing, uh, raising money uh, instead of raising money to donate in the Chinese uh, China. Uh, we uh, found some source to purchase the like uh, ventilator in China and uh, donate to the hospital to save like uh, patients' life. And um, at that time, the my role changed to uh, resourcing those like uh, ventilators, and we successful find some the uh, resource and uh, continue the shipping like the uh, ventilator from like the manufacturer in China to the hospitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, I changed the. <laughs> changing them like uh, the scope so yeah yeah um i know that the ventilators were sourced locally what's the rationale behind that decision rather than purchasing them here and shipping them to wuhan uh it, there's uh, several reasons that we did like that so at the beginning like uh, our campaigns starting at like uh, late of the january is kind of uh the first check that we re uh, received from like a uh, local like people is on the january January 26, and uh, at that time, there's uh, many like uh, you know, Chinese community in the United States uh, raise the same like uh, do the same campaigns. They uh, they buy some like uh, PPE from the United States or, or even like the other countries from all of country to ship back to the China. And uh, uh, at the first, we thought about the, this like uh, things, but uh, it later we found that like, uh, there's uh, several reasons like uh, we don't want to do that. The first reason is like uh, uh, the right PPE is uh, uh, is uh, if we didn't we we are not like uh, this kind of like expert before, and a lot of people buy the wrong like uh, PPEs and send to the China, and then it be uh, stopped as a customer and. Uh, and the cost like uh, the the waste of the resources. So uh, at later like we said that like, uh, also we don't want to waste our PPE's resources in United States to one like uh, this pan uh, pandemic happened in the United States. We don't have the PPE to protect us. So on the third ones like uh, uh, logistic issues because. Uh, if we buy it like uh, in the United States and ship him to the China, then it may be too late. And uh, so that's, that's um, if the air ship to China is about like uh, one week uh, to 10 days, but to clear the customer, uh, it takes some time. And then from like a uh, customer to uh, from the customer to, uh, to Wuhan, it will take another like uh, 
you know, uh, several days, even several weeks. So we decided to find like uh, the local uh, resource. And uh, um, I actually, I found from found a ventilator from all of the chi all of places in the cities in China, uh, like the Shanghai, Beijing, uh, Guangdong, uh, even the Wuhan areas. So so from from that point, like we can help like uh, local patients in uh, very quickly. So on. Um, uh, for like uh, the decision, we try to uh, we we want to buy the local uh, local ventilator to the uh, hospital in in China. Um, in the third days, we shipped the first ventilator to the hospitals, and that was like uh, uh, that's the very great great uh, great news to all the like, uh, people here and encourage. Uh, a lot of people to join us and to, to help like uh, China. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's the reason. To the first things like uh, the speed, the second things the, the availabilities. So, um, what were the main goals of this campaign? Uh, same things like at first that our goal our goals like uh, it's very small. Like we we thought we may only raise about the uh, about like uh, thirty thousand dollars and to donate to the China. But uh, later when we try switch to the buy like uh, buy the ventilator, uh, in the fin finally we raised more than three hundred thousand dollars. So so you see like uh, there's a lot of difference. Yeah. Uh, what do you think were the main reasons for that campaign success? Um yeah, so majority of things like uh, mm, the su success is that coming from like uh, our uh, the group discussions, like uh, decisions. Uh, I begin uh, for raising the money and then shift to China. Uh, a lot of people is not interested to donate, and then we sh uh, we found like uh, things that we want to we can save the people's life, uh, sending the ventilator to the like, uh, hospitals. Uh, save save the life is like uh, we we say is a pressure, pressure, uh, priceless. The life is priceless, so you can, you cannot like uh, count as value. So with this kind of things, like uh, people, it's like to saving the people's life, and this is like, a goal is like uh, very specific, specific. With this uh, specific items, like uh, things we did in during the campaign, uh, people know that we do the things and. Uh, so the, all of the like, uh, country, like uh, in the United States, we helping the other like uh, states uh, to achieve like uh, these kind of things, uh, helping them to uh, to 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 fund the PPE in, the, in China local and saving the people's life. So we helped like uh, uh, Chicago, we helped uh, 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 Minnesota, we helped uh, uh, Indiana, we helped uh, Kentucky. We have the Louisiana, like the, those like uh, several states, like uh, they cannot uh, the Chinese school in, over there or Chinese like a uh, community over there they, they could not find like uh, thing uh, the ventilator to save the people's life. They go through with us to go through our campaign to buy the ventilators. So yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So now let's switch over and talk about how like the campaign to help St. Louis. So what has the campaign done so far? In yeah, uh, because of the success in the early, the, uh, before, the, uh, before the March for sending the ventilators to, uh, to the hospitals and uh, the people here is like uh, knowing we did very successful on the campaign and we do the real things to help the people. So, uh, so they, we collect uh, uh, donations here. So, so far we collect, even in China, the people, uh, they don't know us. They just heard the news from uh, in China. Uh, they heard that uh, we do that, uh, buy the PPEs for the local health care uh, workers and uh, like uh, first, uh, first responders. They donate like, uh, they donate like uh, masks, they donate money to us. So uh, we received like uh, two big donators. Uh, one is uh, 
uh, they donate 3,500 uh, N95 masks to here. And another uh, two, two ladies, uh, they donated about 40,000 RMB to, to us to buy like uh, PPEs to help like uh, local healthcare. Um, so far, uh, we received about $150,000. So, so we spent majority on like uh, masks, PC, uh, PPEs, and uh, the recently we uh, bought bought like uh, lunches and for those like uh, health cares in the hospitals for the first responders in like uh, such like uh, in the police station and uh, the fire station. Uh, what was your role in this part of the campaign? Uh, this time that still like uh, sourcing. I, I bought like uh, the masks from China from China. Because you know, like uh, in same things that happens like uh, early this year, it's like uh, uh, at that time, so it's PPE is very limited, and recently also the PPE is also is very limited resource in China. So uh, find the right like uh, uh, PPEs is kind of the uh, hard things. So then um, I've. Go through like the friends in the China and go through like uh, uh, to find the direct to find like the manufacturers and uh, buy the bought the PP, uh, the masks. Uh, we bought about uh, 100,000 like uh, surgical masks, uh, very high quality the mask to here. And we uh, the first day we donated to like the hospitals. They tested it and they said, oh, this is great. This, this those are what they uh, they need and uh, they. Yeah, uh, and some of the hospitals like they received it and used it immediately. Like the uh, yeah, so we when we uh, when we saw that pictures that those like uh, healthcare the workers sent to us, we are very happy because we know what we did. Uh, what we did is to be really like helpful for those those peoples.